Welcome to my unboxing of the ASUS Sabertooth Z77 motherboard. This is what I would consider to be a true successor to the Sabertooth P67 because it brings back da, 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 the thermal armor. So the exclusive thermal armor, armor covers the entire board with dual turbo fans directing cool air to critical parts and dissipating heat faster for better stability. Tough series motherboards better be stable and they better have high quality components because they come with a five year warranty. These are the only ASUS motherboards that do come with a five year warranty and they have a number of features to back it up. So first of all, we've got the thermal armor. We'll show you that in a moment. Thermal radar, this is really cool. If you check out on my NCIX comm channel, I've got a video where I talk about the ASUS specific features of their Z77 boards where I show you thermal radar. It's really, really cool. Dust Defender, Repel the Dust, Expand the Lifespan. I'll show you those in just a minute. You can cover your slots when you are not using them. Tough Components, Certified by Military Standard. So there you go. You're going to give a five-year warranty on something. You better make sure you're using proper components that are going to last a long time. New DigiPlus Power Control. So this is eighth generation digital power control from ASUS, meaning you are controlling the RAM, the CPU, and the integrated GPU. USB fly BIOS flashback allows you to easily recover your BIOS in the event of a failure, even without a CPU and RAM installed. Network Eye Control allows you to prioritize various applications through AI Suite. In order to make sure that your, you know, uTorrent that's running in the background is not affecting your pings in your game server. UEFI BIOS, we take that for granted these days. USB 3 Boost is also available, whether it's just the regular boost mode or UASP with compatible devices on the As Asmedia controller. USB Charger Plus allows you to charge up to three times faster. ESD guards, in theory, protect the board from electrostatic discharge. AI Suite 2 is their software that allows you to control all this stuff. And finally, complete USB Three. Whatever they mean by complete USB 3, I'm not quite sure. I think they mean they have a front panel header and rear panel ports. They also have uh, both Intel and third party chipsets supported on this particular board because the Z77 chipset does include Intel USB 3 ports. However, the Intel USB 3 ports don't support UASP at this time, so you're going to want to use the Asmedia controller if you want to get the best performance possible. So this platform is using the Z77 chipset, which means you've got support for 22 or 32 nanometer CPUs. That is second generation or third generation Ivy Bridge, Intel Core i3, i5, and i7 processors. We've also got support for Intel Smart Response technology, which means that you can use an SSD to cache your boot drive. NVIDIA SLI and AMD Crossfire X technology are supported. Virtue MVP gives you the ability to plug in a dedicated graphics card, still make use of QuickSync technology, which is the integrated GPU's uh, quick video encoding, as well as use the integrated GPU as a way to augment the performance of your dedicated GPU, as a way to reduce the tearing that is caused by frame rates that are above the refresh rate of your monitor. And finally, with the newer Virtue, you don't have to worry about whether you plug into the dedicated graphics card or the integrated graphics card. You can switch to I mode or D mode, whichever you prefer. Okay. Now let's do accessories really quick here. I've actually opened some of these already, guys, because I did already use this motherboard to film my other video, and Slick in his infinite wisdom opened up the board before we prepped the other video and before we had a chance to unbox it. So uh, he's feeling the shame right now. All right, so we've got some pieces here that we took off the board in order to install these fans. So there's a fan right here on the chipset blowing air down in order to direct air exactly where it needs to go, so through the chipset fins, across any of the other chips that are installed on the board itself, and you know, eventually sort of out the gaps around it. There's also a fan here, so this I would probably suggest using it as an exhaust instead of as an intake, but I guess the, the choice is yours. Slick installed this one. And then next, we've got our dust covers. So this one, this one. These basically allow you to keep dust from accumulating in slots that you're not using. ASUS has included a full complement of them for the PCI Express slots, as well as, look at these. These are cool. So we've got other placeholders for the RAM slots that we're not using. So you don't, look, they can go either way. They've got slots, so you don't have to worry about which way you install them. See, I can go in that way, I can go in that way. There you go. So your board will look like really sweet 
even if you have absolutely nothing installed on it. So if you're into aesthetics, which I happen to be, that is cool. All right, IO shield, including a cutout for the fan at the back so that you're gonna get adequate ventilation. We've also got uh, four SATA cables. Two of them are SATA 3, two of them are SATA 2, but it doesn't actually matter. They're both single to right angle, or all four of them are single to right angle. SLI connector, right there. Q connectors for your front USB, as well as your front panel headers for your power and whatnot. Uh, you've got a driver and utilities DVD. You don't use that, download the latest from the ASUS website. You've also got a certificate of reliability gold. And Tough Series 5-year warranty notice. That's the one I'm concerned about, not this one so much, because that means ASUS is going to stand behind it. You've also got a sticker that you can put on your case, Tough Inside. Oh, sorry, can you see that? There we go, cool. Moving on, let's have a look at the layout of the board, which is quite tricky because it's completely covered with the thermal armor, which you can take off should you see fit. So we've got our CPU socket right here, LGA 1155, supporting the latest Intel processors. We've also got our 8-pin power connector in its ideal location at the top left of the board. We've got our 24-pin power connector in its ideal location on the right-hand edge. There's the MemOK -OK button. That means even if you're using a high-performance DIMMs, you can use that button to ensure that it will post no matter what. We've got a front USB 3.0 header. Very good orientation of this. Love it. Good job, ASUS. Thumbs up because this will run more easily to your front panel and uh, will require less, you know, kinking of the cable and you don't want something coming out like this. If you're buying this board, you probably care about the look of your build, this will help. Next, we've got four SATA 2 3 gigabit per second ports, two SATA 3 6 gigabit per second ports, and two more SATA 3 6 gigabit per second ports running off of a third party chipset. So those guys are. Just that. Here's our front panel headers for your power and reset and all that good stuff. Three USB 2 front panel connectors. Moving on, we've got a power LED, we've got clear CMOS uh, jumper. Prefer to see a switch, especially on a gaming oriented board, but it is what it is. We've got our Thunderbolt header, yes. So you can install uh, an optional ASUS accessory into this slot and then plug that into the Thunderbolt header and you will add Thunderbolt support to your board. Debug port as well as front panel audio are both right here. And moving along, we've got the PCI Express slot layout. So we've got one, two, three PCIe 1X slots. Three PCIe 16X slots, although it's going to run at 16X or 8X, 8X, and I really wouldn't recommend running a graphics card in here. This is more intended for accessories, you know, LAN card, RAID card, Thunderbolt card, whatever else the case may be. Moving along to the back, we've got our usual assortment of ports, so four USB 2.0 ports, the BIOS flashback button, so handy, so useful, two eSATA ports, four USB 3.0 ports, two of those running off of a third-party chipset and two of them running off of an Intel chipset, DisplayPort and HDMI video out, optical audio out, as well as 7.1 audio. Now I want to show you guys where all of the fan headers are because you can use the AI Suite software in order to configure custom fan curves, one, two, three, four, five and six. ASUS has done a fantastic job of putting all of the relevant ports around the very outside of the edge of this board in order to keep a clean aesthetic. That is not easy. So they have done a tremendous amount of work in order to make things convenient for you. So I hope you guys appreciate it. Here's another cool thing. Check this out. Ventilation holes in the board. I call them bullet holes, but I don't think that's actually ASUS's intention. But uh, check this out. So we've got like, some, like random ventilation holes like in the board. I think these ones are for the socket itself, but yeah, there's like some ventilation holes and whatnot. Pretty cool, right? Perforated PCB. That's like the latest technology. I'm not even joking. Thank you for checking out my unboxing and first look at the Sabretooth Z77. Slick's laughing, he's making me lose it. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. Miss something? PCI Express 3.0 is supported on this motherboard as long as you are using a CPU that has a built-in PCI Express 3.0 controller.